MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's the second game of the National League Championship Series. Payoff pitch one more time. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Got away with it. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. One and two now. Hit hard to third. There's one on to first to complete the double play. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Into the box, Ryan Runners. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. And that's in there, base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He swings and grounds it to short. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him. And the inning is over. Only trip to the plate so far. Popped up. Guriel has a play. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. From the stretch. And there he goes towards second. Strike called. Now the throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Manny. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen him 0 for 1 so far. This is in the air out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Standing in now, Julio Rodriguez. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Didn't waste any time like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. Two out here and a runner at second. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger. Now at the plate, Austin Riley. One for two on his line so far in the game. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping any time. Play off of. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that to tight. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them. But when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does. Especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about it. There's a shot out to right center field. Bush rounds the corner and is headed home. The relay, and he is in there with an RBI triple. 
Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important, you're one pitch away from a scrap. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by another 1-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole... When you get yourself to a 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here.